Okay, this is between Minsk and Pinsk. It's um, prose and poetry, paragraphs, prose, and bits of um, smaller indeterminate half prose, half poetry, and poem titles. Uh, I'll show you. Just like. Okay. Um, did that? I don't know if that. Anyway, I'm going to now read it. Between Minsk and Pinsk. I write, therefore, I have lost all claim to being. 250 years ago, Bach was asked by Frederick, quote, the Great, to improvise a six-part fugue on an especially jagged, unamiable theme. Tabloid gossip has it that number five son C.P.E. Bach, one of Frederick's court composers, authored the spiky, slightly poisonous shape to torment his creaky father. Frederick was a liberal starting out. He grew the arts, as Clinton might have said, kept religion in its own snow globe, opened public space to living social libido. Does he get a zeitgeist halo because Mozart wrote Cosi von Tutti there, showing how good sound could sound, but still ABA, new old new, the system's appetite in high def like hardly ever. Ears burning in warm global perspective, bodies plural from now on. Exhale to fashion portable forms of writing. Everybody lives in the present. Everybody. Do you hear me? You're breaking up. You who are to be reached to carry on the work. You who, you, yes you. We are moving. Goodbye. Never on Sunday. I poured an ecologically sustainable amount of maple syrup on my blog and fried up a couple of humanitarian sausages. Next, it was the savage white of the cockatoo and sunny oranges all the way down to the ships where I slipped into my leisure suit and got a load of how much shit work there is. Goodbye to the library. Endless self-forming process. The art machine, declensions, sit-ups, scales, thirds, octaves. Left in such a hurry I couldn't tell you who was sitting where when the roof fell. The book of memory comes later. Nor forget William James' principles of psychology. Baby touching flame. Every spine has will a little. Every little spine shines a little. Note the repetition because notes repeat. That's why nerves have will. They prefer, develop, learn. All these are neural events, not yet mind. That's a little further down the road. Flame, no. Touch something else. End of time. A problem. Whose exactly? Slipped on the slimy deck, crashed on my back, red lines in the mirror, skin sack. Poets' poetics often exactly, too strong a word, wrong about their poetry. Nothing to be done. In any given mall, struck meat points at hex scripts, reflecting whose pain. Night and day, rushing, basic premise, waiting at the gate, but there were two. Too late, lines and situations, bank, Amtrak, busy, bookkeeping, eye contact, and got Alf, you gave a shit. You could type Seattle. Where? The 6.13 p.m. Now home, yesterday, had pleasure. Check. Big what? Grocery bag, rushed down. It was 5.30, rolling, unzipped, rather empty. Now to lock my pocket, handkerchief, blocking ability. Hard to undo, throwing, rolling. One, two doors, watching, slowly, ratchet, closed, levered the key around. Shut the fuck up, brilliant. Dreams performed in public, as if perception were free. Venus, lovely tramp in mud time, wearing plaid, if you can believe it. Fashions change, so why can't we? We do anyway. Handed me a parking ticket and said, start filling it out, big boy. Why I am not a sardine. Pressing up tight against you, but when I asked, it was one of those nights. You were wearing earplugs. The days go on. Tonight, for instance. It needs something, but at least we're both real or something. With little machines to persuade us. 
quick and moist and meaning. Familiarity floating like a rubber ducky in intensely organized sonic bath. Is that a metaphor, or are you just glad to be typing? That which makes the mind swerve diverts it from its path. Sentence, pragmatic, fragment, hieratic. What Maisie knew. Wonderful sentences. Next second, clotted, musty presumption and vague, balletic inference. Ten words in, I've lost track. The question then becoming whether to go on, knowing I'll have to go back to the beginning of the sentence, which may be pivoting on a crucial word in the sentence before that. Or trust momentum to beget comprehension, aiming for a brisk pace to animate the sensing mind, frisking amid word facts hoping to ride the insinuated curves of main sense, find the Wi-Fi. Not to forget the plot. Plot, the forget to not. Like the mechanical rabbit the greyhounds chase with such unenviable velocity around and around, sentence after sentence, never to sink tooth into haunch, tongue stuck inside the muzzle, never to taste pulsing salt blood. The witch of the waste barges in, bulging, vain, careless, malevolent. She makes the little girl old, uses her sadistically. So she becomes a target for our counter-sadism, and we're happy when soon she is climbing endless stairs, sweating, sagging, melting, most importantly, suffering. What does sadism do with that image? It ponders, restless, rubbing thumb. After various millennia, the actors, with their unintentional accents, stagger out of the cave onto the softly blinding screen, scarred but future-proof. All in all, happy, up at 345, anxious, death, debility, isolation, all finally at 630, happy, thinking, today, work, still, now, late, night, focused, room, hearing, decent rain. Freud calls paper on Michelangelo's Moses, which he published anonymously, his love child. Moses's horns representing the radiance that visited Moses's face after he had seen God. Is he sitting down, having come down from the mountain with the tablets, or is he rising up, about to smash them? Shouting out society's secrets, poets are little better than necessary licensed gossips. The mother of us all. Something happened, painfully but fully, universal, and you only get a thin edge. Full of pain, and I was emptied, no one was there, and certainly no one else. Then the future arrived, banished the past, and I was so, and it was so. To be in time, finally, exclusively, and going away, but here, to be later, the next. Suck now, it's okay. 4.45. Freud and Anna mess around with telepathy. Much later, she reported to Ernest Jones that she and her father acted out certain superstitions while they were hunting for mushrooms, and that this nonsense was such good fun at the time. She left no doubt, though, that these experiments had to do with thought transference. 650. Fate has been good to me, that it should, have, that it should have granted me the relationship to such a woman. I mean, Anna, of course. Sex with Shiksa. Such good fun. Seven, it's only the present that's hidden. Nine, get the relays put down since brute transportation won't survive. If anything's known in poems, it's not tone leading of vowels, but embodied tongues spiraling implication, not the work of the vowels alone, more like the binary dots and dashes the infant has as its real toys trying to decide which is more to the point, the dog's earnest bark or the guest's offhand guffaw. Couplet for a post-American century. The torturing empire, copyright, free will, someday real readers won't already feel what that means. <laughs>